the next things uh, we are going to discuss is uh, proxy okay so whenever we begin with veeam backup and replication we have to look forward for the two things uh, one is backup proxies and the second is backup repositories so backup proxy is important uh, when you click on the backup proxy you are gonna find file backup pro proxy and veeam, vmware backup policy because i am using a vmware backup platform so i will be the option is for vmware backup proxy in case if you are using hyper-v you are going to see hyper-v backup policy so when i go and click on the property for this here you are going to see the name of the server but there is a transfer mode and mine is right now virtual appliance if you go to the choose by default it is on the automatic selection so there are three a direct storage access virtual appliance and network okay so let us talk about these three before i begin with those okay so in the proxy server there are transport mode how the one is a direct storage second is a virtual appliance and third is a network one let's open the veeam backup sites so it's a help center veeam backup you can check this url transfer mode transfer mode is job efficiency and time required for a job completion greatly depends on the transfer mode how long it takes for your backup to be done if you are taking a file backup or a virtual machine backup or a what kind of backup you have been taking and how long it takes it totally depends on the transport mode the transport mode is a method of method that uses that used by the veeam data mover to retrieve veeam data from the source and write data to the target so then it completely depends on it taking data from the source and writing it to the target okay replicating it or backing it up so if you are backing it up it will back up from your storage to whatever places you want to back up and you restore it is vice versa so there are three basic transport mode the first is direct storage direct storage access mode veeam backup and replication read writes data directly from the storage system where vm data or backup are located so i'll show you here this is a physical proxy so if you are if you have a direct you know you are connected to your it goes connected to your host and the from the host it goes to the storage okay so in if you give directly access to your storage so it will directly take your uh pack of file from the storage you know vmdk file it will take in both only iSCSI and nfs if you are using the direct storage not with the fiber channel in that case you need to be have a virtual proxy and virtual proxy can be installed into the virtual machines only virtual machine one two and free now the next one here that's a virtual appliance now these are the jobs for virtual appliance if we have been taking backup replicating vm copy quick migration entire vm restore vm disk restore and replica fail back so virtual appliance transport mode is there the virtual appliance mode is not so efficient as a direct storage access okay mode but provide better performance than network mode okay so the virtual appliance mode is recommended if the role of backup proxy is assigned to a vm so if backup if this is a proxy then it is efficient 
if any of those virtual machine is a proxy then only is a virtual proxy if this assigned to a physical one no it's not efficient in the virtual appliance mode veeam backup and replication use vmware scsi hot at capability that allow attaching device to a vm while the vm is running so that's the hot add feature is there during backup replication or restore disk of the process vm are attached to the backup proxy vm data is retrieved or written directly to the data store instead of going through the network so that's a plus point and these these are the things we can do and that's the requirement for this mode let's go to the third one that is a network uh, mode network mode is basically having a limitations to the network network mode can be used with any infrastructure configuration in this mode data is retrieved via esxi host over lan using network block device protocol the network mode is not a recommended data transfer mode because of low transfer speed over the lan to take the load of the lan veeam backup application provide two alternate modes there's a direct mode or virtual appliance first go with the direct or second virtual appliance that network mode is only applicable mode when the backup proxy role is assigned to a physical machine and the host uses local storage so he's saying like this is the host and this host is using local storage and proxy is a physical proxy then for the network is in my case i am using my storage into the local host and proxy as a physical so how are you going to change all of these options that we have seen this is your proxies you can simply add proxy add a vmware proxy or a hyper v proxy or a file share i already have a vmware proxy for the same go to the property and if you go choose there is a automatic selection that is a direct storage access if you click on direct storage then go to the connected data store go to the manual selection and add and these expand them select both of them by using control function click ok click ok that's it go next wait for some time and that's it so now you can go to the manage traffic rules and that allow you to use a lot of features name is mukesh encrypt network traffic and throttle network traffic too you can set up the speed 3 mbps whatever the time or you can throttle the speed on monday like that to that timing office busy hours where people need you know so that you can select plus if you go to the network you can set up a network here by using network address and subnet like for example and go okay so if you go to the manage traffic rules there you can add it source ip you will find source ip to be here and that's how it works you simply apply so my veeam backup proxy right now let, let me go back and i am selecting the direct storage access you can leave it out to the automatic selection if you want and here also automatic selection click on next it will validate your server manage traffic rule remove i am removing the traffic rules encryption you can keep the encryption enable and throttling is removed not required as of now so it is almost implemented and finish that so this is how you can configure your backup proxy and if you want to make virtual machine your backup proxy say v, you know vmware and you simply click on add new microsoft windows and you have to type the ip address of your virtual machine and then go next 
right now i do not have any thank you very much